here on Ballon Money today with Peter Thompson, a Dervic man born and bred from Dervic village. And he's actually discovered a bit of a link between Dervic, which is a small, obscure rural village here, and links with the Napoleonic War. So Peter, can you tell us a bit about that? Well, basically, it uh, all stems from a family by the name of Allen. Mm -hmm. And the Allens came to Dervic in the late 1700s and they bought land. It was in later years they married into the Adair family. And one of the Adairs, one of his mother's family, was killed at the Battle of Trafalgar. Right. And this is where our link comes in at. The Battle of Trafalgar. Captain Charles William Adair was killed at Trafalgar just minutes before Nelson. So what was Adair's role during the battle? Adair's role, he was a captain on board the ship. He was a part of the Royal Marines detachment on the board the ship. Um, there were several Marines um, killed that day. Adair was one of them. Adair was killed just minutes before Nelson. So he was one of the casualties in the Battle of Trafalgar, one of the most famous battles in naval history. And that's why we're in Durham, we're so proud of our wee day. Because we, we became part we became part of that. I promised the people in two years ago that they're they're marking this battle throughout the world. And today we took a rightful place in them celebrations throughout the world. And mm. what can you tell us about these swords that you've collected behind us as well? These swords um all date back from seventeen ninety six. The top in 1796, but they're all used during the Napoleonic Wars, and they've been used during from 1796 to 1815. Okay. Now this one here, probably one of the most nicest that I've come across. This one is an Irish sword, okay. and that's as quite you can, rare then. Uh, that's rare. And as you can see, it's got the Georgian crown here, and the Georgian crown again with the Irish harp. That tells me that that, that was made for an Irish regiment, and it was made in Dublin. Okay. And one of the members of the, the family who made this went on to become the mother of Arthur Guinness. Oh, fun fact. So <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a nice piece. And then what about something like that? And this, this one here is a Napoleonic bayonet. This is from the same period. This is a sergeant's bayonet. That's what makes it different. It's a short bayonet. There was the sergeant a different musket. This one here is a relic condition, but been a good sword and stay, been fully etched right to the end. So it had been blue and gilt, the same as that at one time. But over the years, that has disappeared. Brown Best Bennett, Sergeant Sidearm from 1796. Mm -hmm. uh, Light Cavalry Sabre, 1796. And again, a Brown Best Bennett, exactly the same as this. That's uh, a Sidearm from 1796, Light Cavalry Sabre. Then we come down to a later period, but this one here, this one here is interesting because this is a brown, a brown bass bayonet, which you can see here has been cut away. Mm -hmm. That is a captured bayonet. That was used on one of the French muskets. Oh. And these, the next two swords, as a flank and officer's sabre from 1803, and another ranks uh, sabre from 1803 period. You can see the difference in the blade, there's a more curved. Yeah. That's the difference. This one completely baffled me. Um, I bought it at a time, a couple of years ago, and I couldn't figure out the pattern. The pattern was completely strange. It wasn't a bright sword, I knew that. So I did a lot of research into it. And I discovered that during my research that there was markings on it, which makes it appear to be American Revolution period sword, which ties in with my different collection of Napoleonic stuff because it's the American Revolution kicked off, the French Revolution and the Irish Rebellion the whole thing all ties in. And there was lots of Irishmen fought during the American Revolution period. So to me it's a nice piece of history mm -hmm. brought back and it was found locally. So it's, it's, it's a piece of local history as well. Oh, well thank you so much Peter for having us in your home today. It's really insightful here and the bit of history you've just shared with us. And your research and knowledge has been great to hear as well. So thank you.